Hello, Stephen Clark here and friends. Good morning, good evening and good afternoon, no matter where you are on this planet. We'll be taking a look at Thailand and Southeast Asia and beyond. So let's have a quick look at what we got on the video today. North Korea cuts off all communication with South Korea over him sending over dirty little messages in balloons. So the dear leader's dear sister gives him a mouthful. A Ukraine woman found it dead in Koh Samui. Protesters demand answers on missing Thai activists in Cambodia. A doctor in Myanmar gets jailed for insulting a monk. And dengue fever's on the rise. A pig virus has got us. It's worse than the coronavirus. Not really, but it's killing a lot of pigs. This is interesting. A robot dog in a supermarket entertaining everybody. And of course, the Chinese Communist Party warn all its citizens of China not to visit Australia because they're violent and rude and naughty. Well, okay, let's have a look at some news. North Korea cuts communication links to the enemy, South Korea. And this is why. Yes, North Korea will cut military and political communication links to enemy South Korea over threats activists sending anti-Penongyang leaflets across the border. The decision carried further significance because it was attributed in part to Kim Jong-jong, the sister of North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un, who has risen in prominence in recent weeks. Kim's powerful sister, Kim Jong-jung, also threatened to scrap military agreements signed with Seoul unless the South stopped activists from sending the leaflets Penongyang's way. Penongyang will completely cut off and shut down liaison lines between the authorities of the North and the South, which has been maintained through North's joint effort liaison office as well as other communication links. They mean business. Last week, she called the North Korean defectors who have fled to South Korea human scum, or oh, sorry, human scum, and of course, mongrel dogs for flying propaganda leaflets across the border. North Korean defectors, which she calls human scum, and other activists have long flown balloons across the border, carrying leaflets that criticize Kim over human rights abuse and his nuclear ambitions. This has driven the inter-Korean relations into a catastrophic, she said, a catastrophic what she ended the sentence, I don't know why. We have reached a conclusion that there is no need to sit face to face with South Korean authorities and there is no issue to discuss with them as they have only aroused our dismay. Kim Yong-jong stressed that work towards the South should thoroughly turn into the one against an enemy. The military pact which Kim Yong-jong has threatened to scrap was signed during Mun's visit to Penongyang in 2018, aimed at easing border tensions, but most of the deal has not been acted on. Penongyang largely severed contact with Seoul following the collapse of the summit between Kim and US President Donald Trump in Hanoi last year that left nuclear talks at a standstill. Many experts suspect that underlying reason is an attempt to gain leverage in inter-Korean negotiations that have stalled since a series of high-profile summits in 2018. Do you know there's a rumor going around that uh, our dear leader, the North Korean leader, had one of his relatives executed with an anti-aircraft gun? Also, his brother was assassinated overseas by North Korea, so the rumor goes. And as for his sister, so how safe would Kim Jong Jong feel now? Ooh. Cop this, sister! <laughs> <laughs> A Ukraine woman has been found dead on a Thailand island two months after leaving her husband for another man. And the mobile phone of the Ukraine woman is the key to the puzzle as police decide between murder or suicide. CTC footage showing the woman at a motorbike shop on May the 25th, the last day she was seen alive trying to sell her mobile phone as she was unable to pay her rental for her motorbike. 
The body was found by a local hotel employee searching for mushrooms in a forest area near coconut trees. The employee had been searching for mushrooms in the forest when he detected a foul odour. Went to investigate the odour where he found a trench cutout filled with water near some coconut trees. He noticed what looked like a human leg sticking out from the undergrowth as the body was heavily camouflaged. Police have named the woman as 32-year-old Olga Frolova, who is the wife of a 40-year-old freelance photographer. The couple were recently estranged but had been married for 12 years and had lived on the beautiful island of Koh Samui. The husband said two months ago Olga had left him for another man and taken the couple's son with her. She also had commenced legal proceedings with a lawyer seeking a divorce. Police have not charged anybody yet as they're waiting to find out the cause of death from the autopsy. Cambodia and Thailand urge to investigate Thai activists' disappearance. Southeast Asian parliamentarians concerned with human rights issued calls on Cambodian and Thailand authorities to investigate the case of missing Thai pro-democracy activist Wan Tulum Satsaksip, who was allegedly abducted in Phnom Penh, where he fled to escape criminal charges for criticizing the former Thai junta after the 2014 coup. Dozens of protesters outside the Cambodian embassy in Bangkok demanded an investigation accusing the Thai state of orchestrating the kidnapping. Pro-democracy activist Wan Tulum Satsaksip, a sharp critic of the Thai government, was dragged into a car in broad daylight last week in the Cambodian capital of Phnom Penh, according to witnesses and security camera footage. Asian governments that allow these type of actions to take place on their territory are effectively turning the region into an autocrat's heaven, where the prosecution of decency knows no borders. One to learn, a 37-year-old was abducted two days after he posted an anti-government video on Facebook. A group of armed men abducted him close to his apartment in Phnom Penh and took him away in a black car. A colleague who was talking to him on the phone at the time heard him scream, I can't breathe, before the call was cut off. Some celebrities have taken to social media to express anger, and hashtags such as Save Won't You Learn are trending. We want answers, wrote Maria, a former Miss Beauty Queen. The Thai people absolutely adore her and will listen to what she has to say. On January the 28th, the Thai authorities issued an arrest warrant for Wan Chalun, accusing him of violating the Computer Related Crimes Act for operating Facebook page critical of the military regime. The Thai Prime Minister Priyat Achinacha on Tuesday said the Thai embassy in Phnom Penh is collaborating with Cambodian authorities. The embassy denied having any information about Wan Chalun's whereabouts. According to the rights watchdog, since the May 2014 coup, the Thai authorities have aggressively pursued the apprehension of pro-democracy activists who took refuge in neighbouring Laos, Vietnam and Cambodia. At least eight of them have become victims of enforced disappearance, it is said. Oh, Priya Chinacha, I think you want to throw somebody under the bus. Myanmar jailed a doctor for insulting monks. A Myanmar court has sentenced a doctor to 21 months in jail. He was convicted of insulting Buddhist monks in conjunction with a debate about a proposal to teach sex education in schools. So maybe he's the one getting the education now. Johnny out. With the world concentrating on the CCP virus, with rains also brings mosquitoes. So an alert has been sent out again for dengue fever. It's back, or the potential is back. So once again, people are reminded to take precautions with the use of repellents, nets over your beds, the normal things that you would do, because the last thing you want is to end up with dengue while you're hiding from the CCP virus. Johnny out. The 14-day stay-at-home restriction 
It's not a joke. As a car salesman, sales executive, sorry, found out, recorded by security staff and CCTV, were women going to his room, also having meetings in the basement and going out for food. Officers of the ICA checked and also informed him that it was mandatory that he stay in his room. But he didn't. He was charged and prosecuted. The prosecution pushed for six weeks jail. But with all his charges, he could have been jailed up for six months and 10,000 baht, or both, per charge. He had over four charges. Could have been an expensive outing. Johnny here. Also in Myanmar, the Qing state, a pig virus has broken out, killing 200 pigs. Agricultural, Livestock and Immigration Ministry said on the 2nd of June it had stepped up control measures. The porcine cyrovirus PCV2 had been detected, so transport of pig or pork is being closely monitored and regulated. I wonder if there's a curfew on the pigs. Johnny out. An interesting solution, something to keep the kids interested in, and assist some of the shoppers around the malls. A very interesting idea, a little robot-like dog dispenses hand cleaner. It's just another method Thai malls will use to see the measures taken in the kingdom to help relieve the virus restrictions. Nothing like artificial intelligence. Maybe it should have a YouTube channel. Johnny out. The Australian government has rubbished China's claim of increased racism against its citizens as having no basis and no fact. On Friday, the Chinese Ministry of Culture and Tourism issued a travel alert to its citizens, warning them not to travel to Australia. And why? The Chinese Communist Party claims Australians are becoming increasingly racist against Asians because of the coronavirus pandemic and it issued a travel warning to its citizens. However, the statement did not elaborate on specifics. Examples of such discriminating or violence against people of Asian background. And the reason they can't do that is because there is no evidence of discrimination or violence against people of Asian descent. Let's look at a few facts. The population of Australia is around 26 million at the moment. There are nearly 4 million Asians of East Asia, Southeast Asia, Central and Southern Asians calling Australia home. In other words, they live here. How many Chinese people live in Australia? 1.213 million. How many Chinese tourists per year travel to Australia? 1.4 million Chinese tourists a year. So how is that the Chinese Communist Party? Australia is one of the most successful, multicultural and migrant societies in the world. Millions of tourists from all corners of the world demonstrate their confidence in Australia as a safe and welcoming and amazing destination by many visitors each year, often returning multiple times. This includes Chinese tourists. The Australian people reject the Chinese Communist Party's claims, which have no basis on fact. This is just more false claims from the Chinese Communist Party aimed at Australia as the world knows from their previous statements. The Chinese Communist Party's Ministry of Culture and Tourism reminds Chinese tourists to enhance their safety, awareness and do not travel to Australia. And why are they making these statements? Well, let's just have a look. Chinese latest move follows its slapping of an 80% tariff on Australian barley, 80%, and blacklisting four major beef exporters over labelling issues after the Australian Prime Minister called for a global inquiry into the origins of the pandemic. Labelling, yeah. This sort of thing never happens in China, does it, Chinese Communist Party? What about the plastic eggs and the plastic rice you sent to Thailand? Were they properly labelled? Tried to pass them off as a real thing, didn't you? Oh yes, and China issued a warning to tourists travelling to the US earlier this year 
after some said they were mistreated in connection with the outbreak of the Chinese coronavirus. Maybe the Chinese government should issue warnings for all of its nationals not to travel anywhere in the world because of the CCP virus, or Chinese coronavirus as it is now called. Australia may be one of the only countries in the world that Chinese tourists can return home safely from. The Australians as a nation do not have a problem with the Chinese people. They never did. Only the Chinese Communist Party, and they know that, 